month, children and young people have been taking to the streets at Fridays for Future to campaign for governments to finally take action against climate change. One building block for a successful energy transition is the development of new technologies, which the German Energy Agency, founded in 2000, honors annually with a SET award. This year more than 450 companies from 80 countries applied with their business ideas. One of the winners in the category of innovative mobility is the young startup Bodawerk from Uganda. It's our very, very first pitch, our very first award, our very first application ever. Uh, we got quite surprised when we got the invitation email uh, and reaching here we figured it is, it's really, it's a big thing, it's global, you have big players. <laughs> From, from government to venture capitalists and um, yeah, we are very excited to see which impact that event has on us. While Bodawerk wants to replace old motorcycle engines with electric drive systems, the German startup Anapta, winner in the low emission energy production category, wants to revolutionize the production of hydrogen. We like to compare it to the tech industry of the 1980s where um, people were building mainframes, large supercomputers, and uh, expecting that this would be the future of computing, but then the personal computer came and disrupted this industry. So at the moment, electrolysis, um, the production of hydrogen, is done in huge industry projects. What we're trying to do is to build a very small box, our electrolyzer, which you can plug and play and then stack. And like this, we have a small unit that creates a large hydrogen electrolyzer. And because we're building a small standardized unit, we can drive down the cost. 17% of the total energy consumption in Germany was generated by renewable sources in 2018. A figure that is expected to rise even further in the coming years. But critics are skeptical about energy production entirely from renewable sources because they fear bottlenecks in weather-dependent energy production. The Swedish startup Lixt, which won a prize in the energy efficiency category, is taking on this issue. Today, when you want to introduce more renewables, they are very much volatile up and down. At the same time, we have new disruptive loads from electric vehicles. And to handle that, uh, you need to have more grid flexibility and not the least at the grid edge. So today we could offer a universal hardware that fits in all fuse boxes and the ability for utilities to really connect the grid edge and work with uh, demand side management. The other prizes of the evening went to the Australian startup Planet Arc Power and Divine Bamboo from Uganda. The SET award aims to showcase the most innovative and effective business models in the areas of energy transition and climate protection and to connect the founders with companies, investors and other startups. Hopefully the many representatives of companies and politicians will take these many innovative ideas as inspiration to take measures to protect our future.